Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this DIY, we are going to take this lampshade from Goodwill and turn it into something really beautiful and glam. As you can see on the inside, I paid $7.99 for this lampshade. And of course I have two. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and remove this price tag. Now because I'm going to spray paint this lampshade, if you want to keep the inside like it is, and it's kind of an off-white, you need to run some tape around here. Maybe some blue painter's tape. I've already painted the first lampshade and I used some of the masking tape from Dollar Tree and it did not hold well at all. So, long story short, I ended up having to paint the inside as well because I did have some overspray. And of course, I used the normal metallic spray paint that I normally use and I think it's by rust -Oleum. Use some painter's tape, tape along the edges and then maybe use like newspaper in the center tape it really well if you want to hold on to the way it looks on the inside. Now as you can see the hardware is gold. I ended up spray painting it silver as well. So yeah, that's the first part. I spray painted this lampshade ahead of time. And again you can see the inside is silver. <laughs> Just like the outside and I'm fine with that. Um, the color on the inside is really consistent. So it, is, it works out fine for me. I need to go in and touch up the hardware along the sides, but I'll do that a little bit later. So yeah, this is what it looks like all the way around. I don't know if you guys seen the very first tutorial that I did on glamming up a lampshade. If you didn't see the first one, I'll link it below. But yeah, I'm going to do something similar with glitter and Mod Podge. So let me get started with that. Okay, here I have a cup, have some Mod Podge, have this large container of glitter. I have this small container of fine glitter. Then I have this really, really chunky glitter. So what I'm going to do is mix all three glitters and some Mod Podge and then start brushing it on my lampshade. And I'll use this popsicle stick to mix it all together. And there's no measuring, I'm just eyeballing it. If you want to measure, you can. As you can see, that's like a really, really thick oatmeal. So what I want to do is add a little bit more Mod Podge to make it smoother. And now I'm going to add some chunkier flakes. Okay. I'll use this paintbrush to apply the mixture to the lampshade. So let's get started. I'm not going to add any glitter to these parts because I have something else in mind for that. So what I'm gonna do is just dip this into my mixture and start brushing it on. So now I'm gonna flip it over and start from this side. So now I'll go to each panel and do it exactly the same way. Then I'll let that dry and see if I need to add a second coat. Okay, I'm done adding my first coat. And as you can see, it's starting to dry. And you'll also notice wrinkles in the lampshade don't worry about those, they will even out once it completely dries. So I'm going to let this first coat completely dry, come back and see if I need to add a second coat. Okay guys, I'm back and I guess you can see that this side is still a little wet and that's because I went back over with another coat but it's a different kind of coat. In this panel, you can see what it looked like after it completely dried. And I like the way that looks because I like the material in the background. Now, have you seen the original lampshade I did? The whole thing was completely glitter. Well, I like the idea of having some of the material show in the background, but I want more of the larger glitter to show. And a little bit more Mod Podge, okay? 
There's no measuring. So I'm satisfied with the second layer. I'm gonna let this completely dry. Come back and move on to the next step. Okay guys, I'm back. And as you can see, all the glitter is completely dry. And I'm happy with the way that that looks. Look at that, isn't it pretty? So now I'm going to take my got to be hairspray and lock this glitter in place. Now I'll allow the hairspray to completely dry, then come back and move on to the next step. Okay guys, I'm back and here's what it looks like after it's completely dry. So pretty. The next thing I wanna do is dress this up a little bit more. Here I have some bling from Amazon that I'm going to trim it with. It comes in a box like this. I'll be sure to link it in the description. I'm gonna use some of this bling because I want it to be really glam. Now, it doesn't come with adhesive as you see in this metal. So what I'm going to do is use hot glue along with some of my Dollar Tree Fix-All. I started out by adding a little bit of the Fix-All glue, then I'll come back in with some hot glue and then attach the bling to it. Now I'm gonna take a drop of the hot glue and put this on. Now I need a little bit more hot glue. And that's what I'll keep doing. I'll do drops of hot glue. And then I'll add more of the fix all glue. Now the reason I'm using both glues is because this chain has some weight to it. And I want it to stay on. So, I'm using both glues. Okay, so I'm done applying the bling around the top. Now, more than likely, your lampshade won't have these, but if they don't, you can still create them. All you need to do is take one row of bling and glue it straight down like this. Okay, and here's what it looks like. And there's no need for you guys to see me do that over and over again. So I'm gonna complete this off camera, and then come back. Okay, as you can see, I'm done adding the bling to the panels. Now off camera, I'll go ahead and add a strip of bling around the bottom of the lampshade, just like I did the top. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay guys, I'm back. And you can see here that I've already started decorating my lampshade. I took some of this flower bling, cut individual pieces, and then I have pieces with two attached, like this. When you cut these pieces, you see those little strings? You'll see those on there. So what I do is take a lighter and just go around and burn those off. Once I attach these to the lampshade, I put some gems on top. So let's just get started. Oh, and I only use hot glue. And now I'll put three right in the center. Now 
and I'll be gluing rhinestones to the center of each flower. I'll finish the other two off camera, put this back on the lamp, come back and let you guys see what it looks like. And as promised, here's my beautiful, elegant, and glam lampshade. The mix between the material, the paint, and the glitter actually look like curtains that I purchased from Home Goods. It's really beautiful. And I cannot wait to try this technique using a different color. So stay tuned for that. Okay everyone, this completes my DIY. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.